My visit to the Greek festival really has me in that Mediterranean kind of feel. So what I'm going to do today is a simple little pasta toss. First thing I'm going to do is come over to my saute pan and add a little bit of olive oil. Add to it some diced chicken breast. Right. Now I want to salt and pepper that. Give it a little toss. So I'm going to add some onions. What I want to do now is get my chicken breast to cook so that it's mostly done. And then I'll start adding some of the other ingredients. Now, my chicken is doing really, really well. So I'm just going to ladle in a little bit of chicken stock. There we go. That's going to give this a little bit of body. Then I'm going to come on top of that with a little bit of dry white wine. In this case, I'm using vermouth. Once again, that's going to add some body to the dish. I'm going to re-season it. I'm also going to add to it a little bit of dry basil leaves. And some crushed red pepper. That's going to give it just a little bit of kick. I'm going to come in with about a half a cup of garbanzo beans. And some pitted Kalamala olives. I'm going to come with some diced Roma tomatoes organic baby arugula. And I'm going to put that all on top just like with spinach. This is going to wilt. Come back across the top with a little bit of salt on that. Each new layer of flavor I put in here I'm going to want to season it. So I'm not going to go too crazy with the salt and pepper but I do want to do it every time I add something new in here flavor wise. I've got some multi-grain penne pasta that I've already cooked up here. This to finish that last little bit of cooking. Give it a toss, but each individual flavor is still going to be there on its own. I'm going to finish it off and garnish it, and you can take a look at just how simple this delicious dish is to prepare. And it's ready to plate. I'm just going to bring it here, put it right off on my plate here. I'm going to drizzle it with just a little bit more extra virgin olive oil. Then some fresh green onions. A little chiffonade of fresh basil leaf, and of course, feta cheese. In the Middle East, you're going to have pita bread. So I put that there. My Mediterranean pasta toss is ready to go. Kind of looks like Mickey Mouse, doesn't it? I am Stuart Reb Donald, and I am America's next cooking celebrity.